From the initial alert issued by the state in April over the invasion of army worms, the situation continues to get out of hand. And now, the government says close to half of the country's maize plantation is under risk this season. Na ikiendelea hivyo, tusipofanya chochote, tunaweza poteza karibu milioni kumina sita mahindi, milioni kumina sita. Na hiyo itakuwa sara kupwa kwetu. The fall army worms have so far affected over 200,000 hectares of maize plantation in the country. This as the country is estimated to be having nearly 2 million hectares under the crop which is the country's staple food. The worms that were first detected in Transnzoia County have so far spread to 25 counties including Wasingishu, Nandi, Baringo, Bungoma, Busia, Kakamega, Kericho, Nakuru, just to mention but a few. Wakatu tuko na karibu 20% ya mashamba zetu simeathirika wakatu. So ukifanya hesabu utakuta ya kwamba pengine mimea uh, mazao yetu itakuja chini. Tumetumia dawa karibu mara tatu. Na ayu ayu hii mdudu ya fall army worm. Atuchepata dawa kamili ile tunasema in, inaua. Tunajaribu dawa mbali mbali. In an attempt to deal with the menace, the government says it has upped an initial 200 million shillings set aside to 325 million shillings currently. These funds are expected to procure pesticides to eradicate the worms. According to agricultural experts, the worms mostly in the larvae stage is the most destructive as they feed almost continuously and any attack can lead to 100% crop loss. Experts also indicate that extensive drought that affected large parts of the continent from last year running into the first quarter of 2017 aggravated the army worm invasion as it created hot and dry conditions in which the worm thrives. With an ongoing crisis in the country that has seen the cost of food rise by 21.5% in May from a year ago, according to the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics, the army worm invasion is expected to deal a further blow to Kenya's food security. Kenya is currently importing maize from Mexico, Zambia and Ethiopia to cushion its citizens from the ravages of high cost of maize. The sale of this maize flour is subsidized but has been a subject of panic buying and often runs out from the shelves as soon as it is talked. Mombiwa Roe, Sunday Live.